Come on, let's welcome our guests that are from all around the world watching our live web stream. This is a unique experience tonight. We want to welcome you. My name is Julian Richards. I'm European Director for Morris Sorello World Evangelism. And we're doing something amazing and unique tonight, something that we've never done before. Live from England, we're in a little place just outside of London. Make some noise. We're just outside of London. You are not tuning in here tonight by accident. We're not in the audience here today by accident. God ordained us to be here. This is called the UK Prayer Encounter. Are you ready to encounter a move of God in this place tonight? I'm really super excited about what God is going to do in this place. You know what? God is a spirit. He's the same right here in this place today as He is in your home. If you're watching on your mobile phone or if you're sat at your computer in your office, wherever you are, God, the Holy Spirit is the same right where you're sat as He is in this room tonight. Do I hear some people that will give God praise tonight? I'm so excited about what God is going to do in this place. If you're watching here tonight, we want to encourage you. We're going to stand with you and your family for your breakthrough. If you need healing tonight, if you need a financial breakthrough, we want to stand by your side and join hearts and hands with you and pray for your prayer needs. I want to encourage you tonight. Get your, um, get your prayer needs to this altar. We've already started putting our prayer needs on this altar. I want to encourage you. Contact us us by Facebook, contact us by Twitter or by email, whatever's on the screen, you can use that information. We have call agents right now set aside to take your call. There's a phone number right on your screen. You can rush your prayer need and your testimonies to us and we'll be praying over them at the end of these last few minutes. We've got a live message from Dr. Cirillo in his home in San Diego that's sent just for us as we're connecting to this stream, as we're logging on to this stream. He's going to come and speak to us and welcome us. Why don't you take a look at this? Greetings, friends and partners from all over the world. It's exciting to know that I am here in San Diego, California, Teresa and I together, and able to communicate, to send to you our special love, our special greetings. Well, these have been trying days. These have been times of testing. A few months ago, I was stricken down with an illness called vasculitis. Wow, it has been an incredible, hard, difficult time. But do you know what's been happening? My partners, people that we have ministered to from around the world have risen up. They're standing by Mama and my side, and they're praying with us. They're going deep in the spirit, in intercessory prayer. You know, that's God's word. If two of you on earth agree as touching any one thing, it shall be done of our Father in heaven. Amen. <laughs> And that's what Mama and I are standing on. So we're sending you this special greeting to let you know how grateful we are for your prayers. How grateful we are to know that our God is alive. He reigns. And as we join hands together, and as we pray and intercede together, God is in the business of answering prayer. Amen. 
So, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for standing close by our side during perhaps the darkest moment I have ever experienced in my spiritual experience. But we know that all things will work together for good for those who love him. Yes. Where's my kiss? <laughs> and for those that are called according to his promise. I can't wait to get back on the program and tell you prayers have been answered. Amen. And we have the 100% victory. The most incredible thing that I want to tell you while I close this little special message is that with God, all things yes. are possible. Yes. And that God, who is on the throne, that God yes. is right where you are for any special need that you have. World Conference is coming up very soon here in San Diego, California. You will not want to miss one moment of this conference because we are going to experience together answer prayer. And right now, I want us to send our love to Morris. Why don't we work, like, just appreciate him. Come on, clap your hands. Come on, wel welcome him here. You know what? We need to believe God for his healing. Why don't we just, right here in, in England tonight, I want us to reach out towards the screen, and we're going to believe God for a full healing for Dr. Sorello tonight. We're going to send our love out to him and Teresa. Why don't you lift your voices right now and pray for him? Brother Alfred, why don't you come and lead prayer tonight as we pray for the man of God who last year did 250,000 miles to take the gospel around this world. 84 years young, over 60 years of ministry, faithful service. Every year, almost seven decades of ministry and 60 years coming right here to Europe and the UK, never ever missing a year. You know what? God has a plan and a purpose for Morris and we're going to be sharing together. We're going to be meeting together very soon. Brother Alfred, why don't you come and pray for healing? We believe there's a true anointing for God to heal. Whether It doesn't matter whether you're Morris Sorello tonight or whether you're Julian Richards or whether you're just logging in on your computer tonight. God can heal you just like he can heal anyone else. Brother Alfred, why don't you pray that God will heal Morris tonight? That I can pray for the brother Sorello right now. There is no distance for him, for prayer. We ask the Holy Spirit, go to San Diego. Let the Spirit of the living God minister to him right now. Holy anointing God, touch your servant right now in the name of Jesus. There is no distance. There is no problem to reach you. I call upon you right now. Holy, holy, holy. We reach out to San Diego tonight. We pray for your healing power to be on God's prophet. Lord, with the eye of faith tonight, we see him traveling the world, going to the nations where we only dream of going to take the gospel of your word to people that never hear it. Lord, we see it with the eye of faith. We pray that your healing would go through his body in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give him praise in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know what? While we're in this atmosphere of praise, we're going to go live over to Earl's Court. You'll remember it if you were there. 
We're going to just praise and celebrate. This was the opening ceremony of Mission to London 2014. Let's praise and worship before Noel comes and leads us. Stand in your feet as we continue that celebration of what God is doing in our city and in our country.
in this place he is the saviour of nations Lord we praise you in this place tonight you are worthy, you are a healer you are a saviour, you are a baptizer. Lord we worship you Amen, Amen, you know what we're going to take a moment no, keep worshipping we're going to take a few moments and pray for there to be a breakthrough in the nations of the world let's pray that this nation, the UK and Europe would be driven into revival. Lord, let us pray all over this building right now. Head to the north, the south. Lift your voices. Keep praying and worshipping now.
Thank you, Jesus. Why don't you come and take your seats? Tonight is a prayer encounter. I really believe we're going to encounter the Holy Spirit in this place. You know what? We have an amazing offer if you're watching tonight and you're experiencing something amazing in your home. We have an amazing offer. You can call. If you call into our phone number that's on the screen, we want to pray with you tonight. We truly want to stand with you for the healings in your family, for your life, for your ministry, any breakthrough that you need. We want to agree with you tonight. And we have an amazing gift that we want to put in your hand. It's called the Miracle Book. Countless testimonies of Brother Sorello's ministry, of people, times he's prayed and seen amazing breakthroughs in people's lives. And I truly believe that this book would really change your life. Why don't you just take a look at this short clip? The greatest power in all the world que el poder más grande en todo el mundo. is not the power of government. No es el poder del gobierno. It is not political power. No es poder político. It is not the power of military might. No es poder de la milicia. It is not the power of armies. No es el poder de las armadas. It is not the power of atomic bombs. No es el poder de la bomba atómica. The greatest power in all the world. Que el poder más grande en todo el mundo. Is the power. Es el poder. Of the word. Del la palabra. Of the living God. Del Dios viviente. I want to encourage you. We want to send this to your home. Call in and get your prayer request to the altar for the end of this meeting. You just arrived just in time. We're going to run an amazing memory from Mission to London a year ago. You won't have seen this video anywhere before unless you happen to be in the meeting in Mission to London. I truly want you to celebrate when the people in Earl's Court celebrate. As Dr. Sorello brings this word to us, I truly believe that God is going to move exactly as he did in Earl's Court in your we home. We want to give all honor, all praise, all glory to the only one that is worthy. Would you close your eyes and will you lift your hand and Father, 
look at us tonight. We haven't come here for any other purpose. We've come here to exalt you. We've come here to lift you up. We are your children. You are our Lord. Thank you for the price that you pay. Thank you for the blood that you shed. Thank you because we belong to you. We are heirs. We are sons with you. God is our Father. You are our brother. Oh, let's lift up both hands and give him praise. I feel encapsulated tonight with this incredible holy anointing. Anybody here want God to do something for you that he may never have ever done before in your life? Now you're not ready for that. You know, the true test of a prophet of God is what he speaks comes to pass. We're on a journey in this mission. And in this journey, God plans. Can you Say that with Brother Srilo, God, God plans. Before this week is over, step by step, before this week is over, I see with the spiritual eye of God, I see every knee, I see every burden, I see every work of Satan that has come to attack your life. I see every healing, I see every deliverance from habits, I see the victory of what Christ died on the cross for, buried in the grave for, rose from the dead for. I see it manifested in your life. Oh my God. Give him Something supernatural must take place in your life. And I'm asking God tonight, do that supernatural thing so that you can move on from where you are to where God wants you to be. Oh, my Jesus. You cannot find me one place in this Bible where your God or my God was defeated. Show me. The media doesn't understand this. Now, you didn't hear what I said. Because you have to have a supernatural experience in your own life to understand that the God you serve is a supernatural God. A 
and something supernatural is going to happen to you in this mission to London. Your life, your family, your ministry will never be the same. God will do nothing except he first reveals his secrets. The media does not, and I'm not criticizing the media, but let's face it, they're on one side. They don't understand. They don't have any comprehension. They can't understand miracles. Now you missed a good place to say amen. No, it's all right. What? You cannot understand something that you don't experience. I am asking God, you don't know how I have travailed for you. I am asking God, this mission must not be another normal conference experience. This mission must move the church of Jesus Christ in Europe, in London. I've been preaching for 68 years, but in October of last year, the Spirit of God came to me and God spoke to me. He said to me, son, I want you to stand up and tell my people, I have drawn a line between my people and the world. said they'll not walk together there'll be no unity between them but there will be a unity between my people the body of Christ somebody shout he's a God of plan and God has not planned one defeat for me said, my people need to know that even though they have battles and struggles and circumstances that they are needing to overcome, God just said to me, he said, please tell them that the battle is not theirs. Oh my God, it's not yours. God said it's my battle. Now, I could talk about this all night under this incredible anointing. But just one little brief word. This battle of life for your families, for your children, for your country, it never was between you and the devil. Now to understand this, you have to go back to when an angel called Lucifer 
I'm only going to spend a moment on it, but just so you understand what we're talking about. Rose up in heaven against God. He said, I will destroy him. I will become greater than him. And he rebelled. And the Bible tells us one third of all the angels in heaven followed Lucifer in this rebellion. The battle was on. God cast him out of heaven. He occupied this earth. He came against the creation of God. Sin, sickness, death entered into this world. Three things God never intended when he created man. Never intended man to sin. Never intended man to know sickness. Never intended man to die. We were to live forever. My God, created in his image. <laughs> uh, I could talk about this all night, but let me just tell you this one thing. God sent his son, Jesus, here for a purpose. God sent Jesus here to confront the devil. First John 3, 8, embedded in your soul. For this purpose, the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy. Now, I'm going to leave that all alone, all right? The battle is between God and the devil, not between you and Satan. Now don't look at me with that London look. God defeated him. Oh, Jesus. You don't have to war against an enemy that's already defeated. The devil is defeated. He's destroyed. Oh, somebody give God praise. Every time, every time you engage in a circumstance, no matter whatever it is in your life, hear the word of the Lord. That enemy over your family is destroyed. Every time the diagnosis comes, cancer, sugar diabetes, heart trouble, arthritis, remember this, the battle is not yours. By his stripes, you were healed. Sakaba, Sandalabo, Sakaba, Riando. Take it. He was bruised for your iniquity. These things didn't just happen. They had a purpose. 
Jesus, by his stripes, you are healed. Stand this power. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Why don't we just all agree, everybody watching, if you have a prayer need today and you want to rush it to the altar, as we just right here agree with Brother Cirillo, you know, he had to stop preaching and we're going to just worship with the crowd at Earl's Court for a few minutes right here. But we're going to begin to pray over the prayer needs in this place. There's no cancer that is bigger than our God. There is no financial need that is bigger than our God. There is no disease or sickness. And we truly want to join hearts and hands with those watching today. And we're going to believe for your breakthrough. I'm going to encourage the people right in the room, come up and begin to lay hands on the prayer needs that are on this altar. Come and actually leave your seats and pray. Every person, every pastor, I haven't even begun to tell you. But there is a new way of the manifestation of the presence of God. While we sing this, Kevin, I want every person who says, Brother Sula, I want God to raise the level of my faith. If you need salvation, healing for your soul, come. If you need healing for your physical body, come. If you're a pastor, a minister of church, and you need God to do something specific for you, all right, Kevin, sing it while they come. Come on. watching in this place tonight you're watching what's going on I really encourage you don't look at the size of your circumstance don't look at the size of the problem that you're facing look to the bigness of your God tonight because he can give you the breakthrough that you need turn to God right now really reach out to him because I believe he will meet every need you have let's just agree together as they're worshiping in Earl's court hallelujah you sent your word
He is the Lord, your healer. Hallelujah. Why don't you bring your worship where you stand in this building and in this worship? Come on, stand, let's worship. him in this place. Yes, Lord. Encounter him.
as we're worshipping and praising, as we're encountering God at this UK prayer encounter, I encourage you, the battle is not yours. The battle is God's. You're going to see your breakthrough in Jesus' name. Join hands across this place and pray and worship. I'm asking God for everyone, everyone. But now, Father, I want to impart a special gift to these people. Amen. Elijah, you knew the future. Mars, do you know the future? I know what thus saith the Lord of hosts has said. That he's going to take you to a higher place. Elisha, what can I do for you? Oh my God. The spirit of Elijah is in this place. We know what Elisha asked for. He said, give me a double portion. I tell you, seasons are important. This is the season for you to pass to pass from the natural, a new line is going to be drawn. Oh my God. Oh my God. tonight, Father, for what Elijah said to Elisha. I don't have the power to give you what you ask for, but I'll tell you, there is a power. If somehow you can see beyond the natural. Oh God, if somehow you could understand the place that God wants to take you, and you could see beyond 
And Elijah said, if you see me when this miracle happens, you will receive the double portion. I ask God to give you spiritual eyesight tonight. Put your hands up and receive it. believe tonight that people are being touched all across this world watching this feed here from England tonight that you're going to have a testimony that you're going to have a powerful turnaround that no longer are you going to look at your natural circumstances no longer are you going to allow the things of this world to take your attention and to take your focus but you will have supernatural eyesight to see beyond the natural into the supernatural our prayer for everyone watching tonight we stand with you and agree with you as you've phoned up and you've asked for prayer we're standing with you we're going to write a new miracle book together we're going to rush you your copy of the miracle book but you send us your testimony of what God has done in your life in that service I saw people get out of wheelchairs I saw people throw their crutches on the platform we serve a God that heals today. And we just want to stand with you and believe for your breakthrough. Let's give God praise. He's a faithful God. He's a powerful God. Come on, lift your voices in this place and give him praise tonight. The battle is not yours, but God's. We've produced the most unique product in our ministry that I've never seen any ministry do before. A devotional music CD. I want to encourage you. You need to lay your hands on it. It has Dr. Sorello's very own words as you're in your quiet time and as in your you're in your studies and you're reading your bible and there's this the most amazing music and brother Srillo's voice challenging you the battle is not yours but God's I want to encourage you if you're watching for a gift of any amount that will just help us do more of these webcasts your offering of any amount will just help us do more of things like this and reach out more and more around the UK and Europe, indeed around the world. We just want to say goodbye to our guests that have joined us. Why don't we appreciate all the people that have joined us online. For everybody watching, why don't you take a look at these messages. Introducing Morris Cirillo's first of its kind music devotional, The Battle Is Not Yours. Recorded live by God's servant, Morris Cirillo. This inspired CD of original music will underscore the uplifting anointed words direct from God and spoken by God's servant. Open yourself to receive God's instruction as you put on the full armor of God and receive your victory. The sooner turn it over to Him, the sooner you get the victory. Fill your heart and mind with God's spoken word and be healed 
No unanswered prayer. Lead us, guide us, make a way where there seems to be no way. Listen to the prophetic words as spoken by God's servant. Be set free from the past. No more guilt, no more fear. Have you got any idea what God has prepared for you? You're going to stop living in the past. You're going to tell your past, I don't need you anymore. Be inspired and reborn each time you confess and surrender to God's love for the promise of salvation. And this gospel shall be preached as a witness that in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. From the mouth and the voice of the Holy Spirit, that now is your time. Because God planned to have Himself a people who possess supernatural faith. This is your time to receive Mara Cirillo's first-of-its-kind music devotional, The Battle Is Not Yours, recorded live by God's servant Mara Cirillo. Call the number on the screen. For your love gift of any amount, you will receive this inspired CD of eight original music devotionals. And now, for your convenience, all eight music devotional tracks are available online at iTunes or Amazon.com. Call and order your CD for your love gift of any amount. Call and order today. God's servant, Morris Cirillo, invites you to his 45th Annual World Conference, where God's prophetic promise for you in 2016 is to receive your double portion. Yes, God has given his servant a word that reveals this supernatural outpouring. It all begins Saturday, January 2nd at the beautiful Town and Country Resort and Convention Center in San Diego, California. Joining Morris and Teresa Cirillo will be such world-renowned pastors and speakers as Tommy Barnett, Io Aritzajafor, Cindy Jacobs, Kenneth Copeland, and best-selling author of The Harbinger, Jonathan Kahn. Enjoy praise and worship from such acclaimed artists as Emile Bridges, Cindy Murdoch, Earl Harrigan, Charles Martin, Kevin Wade, LaDonna Taylor, Noel Robinson, and Cece Winans. Accept your divine appointment. Hear God's prophetic direction for your life. Register early. It all begins Saturday, January 2nd through Wednesday, January 6th at the Town and Country Resort and Convention Center in America's finest city, San Diego, California. Go to mcwe.com for more information.